What's up guys? We just went by the bank. I just got a check for Woodward. Uh, Camp Woodward, if you guys didn't see me talk about it in yesterday's vlog, me and Johnny are going to Woodward for a one week. Uh, it's a skateboarding camp. Pretty much all you do is skateboard, eat, and sleep and have fun. There's all kinds of stuff to do there. So we'll have uh, tons of little videos. I'm not gonna probably be vlogging that week because me and Gray have been wanting to take a week off the vlogs but we will be doing a bunch of iPhone videos uh, and I will upload it to the vlog channel. So instead of having a long vlog every day, you'll probably have like three, four videos that equal the length of a normal vlog, but it'll be just short little entertaining videos. So that'll be awesome. Uh, and that'll give us a break. It'll give, give Gray a break. She's going to be in New Jersey. We're trying to figure out her flights and stuff today, um, what she's going to be doing. Uh, Cause we're going to go to Jersey after we leave Woodward, and Woodward is in Pennsylvania. So uh, we're it's trying to figure everything out. four hours away from where I live. And for some reason, our the flights, like I'm looking it up from Charlotte to like Newark and or LGA LaGuardia Airport. For some reason, the flights are like $400, which makes no sense. It's never been that expensive. Normally, you can get them for like freaking 150 bucks, 100 bucks, And uh, to LGA, it's like 91 bucks, which is, that's a good price. That's what it normally would be. But for some reason, the the non-stop flights are more expensive than the stops that are one stop. Like the the stops that are one stop, like you have to fly somewhere else, then fly to the airport you want to go to. Those are the cheaper ones, which normally it's not like that when you fly. And or sometimes. What is, if but. we planned it and we you flew me out of one of the cheaper airports that you would pass on the way to Pennsylvania? I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. We may still just do what I was originally thinking and just we'll all drive up to Jersey like on maybe August 10th or and then, 9th. then stay there for a day or two and then we'll all go to uh or me and Johnny will go to Pennsylvania which is like a four hour drive and then after Woodward we'll drive back to New Jersey stay there for a week and then I'll drive back North Carolina I don't know we're figuring it out but uh, I just spent a lot of money I haven't spent it yet but I just got a cashier's check for two thousand one hundred and ninety dollars that's a lot that's how much it costs for Woodward for two people it's a it's almost eleven hundred bucks per person it's it's 100% worth it though. Oh my god, it's so fun. And they say to stay for two weeks. That means that you would pay that much money for just one person. Yeah. If you stayed the full two weeks. If I stay, no, you're supposed to only stay a week. I mean, a lot of people go and stay two weeks. So either way, it's gonna be awesome. There's gonna be pros there. Uh, we're gonna get to stay out later than all the other campers. It's gonna be awesome because we're staying uh, as adults now. So it's gonna be a good time. Me and Johnny are going to be done after a week of skateboarding all and smelly day long. can you please shower before you come back to jersey and not yes. arrive as a stank bomb last year and I'll, I'll if the bathrooms are still there i'll show you guys uh last year when i went or not last year when i went when i was like 14 or 15 or whatever um i held a poop for four days long because i did not at that time poop in public bathrooms i'm still i don't do it unless i absolutely have to and i held it for four days this time i'm gonna be like all right i'm just gonna get it out get it over with I'm doing it. Whew. Wait, what are you gonna show them? The bathroom? No, yeah, the bathroom. Oh yeah, because the bathroom that I pooped in, the freak, the one, the one that I finally actually pooped in was at the very bottom of the camp because it's on like a big mountain, um, and it was uh, not even attached to the ground. The toilet. The toilet. It was just rocking. It, I don't think there was plumbing set up in or anything. I had to poop in a toilet that was rocking back and forth. Ew. Yeah, it was absolutely just like I picked the worst possible bathroom, but I could not hold it any longer. I was like, all right, four days, plenty enough for me. I can't do it anymore. Anyways, Please Woodward it. stories. It's going to be fun. We'll have a lot of fun videos. I haven't had a chance to check the comments on yesterday's vlog to see if you guys are like, oh, no, don't do, stop doing vlogs. Don't worry. There's still, still going to be awesome videos, uh, tons of fun stuff. We'll still vlog a lot while we're at Woodward, maybe put it up later, maybe make one long video of it. Uh, and I'm sure Gray will probably upload some iPhone videos. Like Maybe. We'll just do a bunch of short little videos uh, for you guys that week. So you'll have lots more videos to watch. And it'll probably end up being about the same length or maybe even longer. Just same, just uh, depends. And there's no way I can do anything otherwise because there's no internet there for the campers. I could try it on my iPad, but I'm going to go over 5 gigabytes of data really, really fast. And I don't even know if Verizon has good coverage there. So that's the best the we can do. The lady said they don't. Yeah, they, I talked to one of the people there and they said they don't, but I do have 4G OTE, so we'll see. It is out in like the middle of Pennsylvania in the mountains and like Amish country, so. That's fun you know. and When you're driving to up the there, block. there's all the uh, yellow light. Uh, when you're driving up there, from what I remember, there's all kinds of like turds on the side of the road because of all the horses 
uh, where the Amish people ride uh, down the streets. Like it's real, like it's deep in Amish country. Uh, I don't know. Amish are pretty cool. They make um, oh my god, they make amazing food. I know. We like, have an Amish market stuff. near us. No, this is like serious Amish stuff. No, I'm like legit the Amish store that oh, yeah, is like near market. my house. Yes, like, that's legit when Amish. I went, my friend's dad took us this like we went to an actual barn where they make it and stuff. And oh my god, the cheese was so freaking good. Oh, it was so delicious. Because it's it's actual they legit how, things. They know how to make that stuff. So. It's not fake. Yep. And preservatives and shit like that. But yeah, exciting stuff coming up. Probably I shouldn't have done that, but. YOLO, you only live once. Why not do exciting things while you're young and why you can do it? That's why I decided to do it. I, I love gonna... this five minute introductory or introductory for the vlog. We're just talking. What up? So, unfortunately, we're at, whoa, really bright things Chick fil A. Chick fil A. And I kind of wanted to, like, really quickly talk about this. Ty also does too, I yes. think. Um, there's been a lot of talk about Chick fil A with how the main like owner of the whole entire franchise i guess you would say now just chick-fil-a in general chick-fil-a in general they like publicly stated how they disagree with gay marriage and how like they really because they're a christian company. they really talk about their beliefs religiously and i just want to state my opinion on this for me i feel no matter what business you are unless your business is strictly a religious type business and you are like religious and you can discuss that i feel stating or discussing your religious beliefs to the public about like just under your, the whole business name is just incorrect like i just don't feel like i feel like stating the religious beliefs of your like personal self about the business and stating that that business well, is the strictly business the is religious built on that. like i understand yeah, I know, why but they did it's that like, I but just at the same don't agree time and then, like, coming out and saying you're against a gay marriage, like, that's not a good move for your company. How are you guys? Not a Um, I don't know. I just think it's kind of, like, stupid because... Do you need any sauce or anything? Uh, Polynesian. Polynesian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's stupid because there's no reason to involve religion, religion in it at all. Like, they... Even though they're against gay marriage, they, like they shouldn't have come out and said it in the first place. That's not going to do anything I positive like for their just, business. I feel it's unprofessional, honestly. Well, it's not going like, to do anything positive for exactly. their business. The only positive is that you'll gain that little group of people that believe in what you believe in, and then you'll lose a big group of people that are against that, or people that feel it's incorrect. So we just renewed our P.O. box, just so you guys know. Uh, so if you do want to continue sending us stuff, we have it for like six more months. I'm not sure where we're going to be living in six more months. But it was only like 20 something bucks, so we went ahead and renewed it. Uh, and right now, we're getting all of these bracelets uh, ready so we can ship them off tomorrow on Tuesday. We're going to ship the bracelets off every Monday. This one, obviously, because we had a ton of orders at the beginning, uh, we're going to do uh, tomorrow. And hopefully, we can get them all done today. Right now, Gray is writing our P.O. Box address on all the envelopes. Uh, and then we're going to uh, take these. And since we did it, uh, you can order one or two at a time. Uh, what we're going to do to make it smaller and so it doesn't get charged as a package or whatever we're going to tape these together like that just put two little pieces of tape on it so they're flat so they'll flip, fit through the little uh slot thing uh, so that way it makes it cheaper on shipping um now for the people who wanted it signed we tried signing uh, my bracelets with a pen and a permanent marker and both of them just wiped right off uh, we let it dry and everything so unfortunately we're not going to be able to sign them for you guys but what we're going to do is we're going to cut up some pieces of paper and me and Gray are going to sign the pieces of paper and put them in with the uh, bracelets in the envelope. So that way you guys at least get uh, get it signed uh, or get a little piece of paper signed. I'm sorry we couldn't sign the bracelets, but they wipe off. I've tried and there's nothing else we could really do. So we're going to get all these done. We have a lot of orders to do. I'm not sure exactly how many, uh, but yeah, we're going to hopefully get this done today. And the paper, unfortunately, is going to be... Just, you know, paper, like... Yes, we don't like have any, like, basic paper, paper either. This kind of paper. Huh? Yes, but, I mean, you still get a bracelet. Yeah. It's ours. You know we had it, so and I guess that's cool. And filling it all out. Oh, and plus these envelopes. Yeah. You gotta lick them. Oh, God. Don't tell them that. They're gonna try and... I get a cringy feeling when I freaking... Oh. I like it. Is that weird? Mm, it makes me cringe, like, thinking of licking an envelope. No, oh, I had a. I'm not talking about it anymore. It makes me cringe. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Why? It's I don't know. It's sticky. Stuff. I know the taste of it and like the gr the dry. Oh, all right. I can't talk about it. it. Freaking freaks me out. I'm gonna lick it slow right in front of you. <laughs> mm.
So we're doing the bracelets now, and oh my gosh, this is a task. So Gray is writing out all of the uh, hey, addresses. So sloppy and I'm sorry. Yes, hopefully you guys get them okay. She's got good handwriting though; she'll do it. So what we did is went through and signed all the like hundred letters we have with RPO box address. Then she's got these custom forms for all the ones that are out oh, of God, state. I am sorry. For those who live out of state, because I curse you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh my god, another person in the United States. And what I'm doing is taping these bracelets up, because otherwise, if we don't tape them up so they're thin, uh, it gets charged as a package instead of like just an envelope. Uh, so there's all the ones that we've done which uh, don't have custom forms. Those are all the ones we do, or we've done that do have custom forms. We, we're going to do that afterwards. Uh, and then after we get done doing all this, which we have like, I don't know how many more, a ton more, then we're gonna do all the papers. We're gonna like cut out a bunch of little pieces of paper, sign those, put them in each one. Gray is gonna be licking all these envelopes and putting them up, or uh, putting them closed or whatever, okay, sealing them. And how he doesn't really love you guys. If you can't, if you can see why Gray's belly looks so big right now, yeah, she's. It looks like I have a really, really weird wiener. <laughs> <laughs> she has uh, a heating pad in her stomach right now, or on her stomach, because her tummy's not feeling good. Greasy Gray, oh. Oh, her tummy don't feel good. Oh my gosh, you make it so like, my tummy feels good, Ty. Give me some attention. Yes. Or don't give attention to mommy. That's my <laughs> job. Anytime we, like, we kiss, Mac gets jealous of Ty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's putting his leg up on me. No, 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 no. I got you. I got you. Here's the process I'm going through to take these. I pick out a bracelet. Uh, some of them order oh. two, or a lot of a lot of people order two of them. Uh, so I have to take them. I go like this. So you know, his mouth is on your bracelet. Mm -hmm. My mouth is. I'm not putting spit on it though. So I gotta tape it like that. Ew! Now people are gonna be kissing around, them. And then tape it so that way there's not really any like like thickness to it. It just gets really thin. Now I get another. I guess I'll lick the bracelets for you guys if you want. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. My mouth has been on your bracelet and it's super thin. And uh, then I put it in the pile with the others. I finally got ahead of Gray. At first she was like way ahead of me. And I was like, oh my god, Gray, I can't take these bracelets up fast enough to get them up with you. But now I've done a lot, so I'm a little bit ahead of her. Oh my god, so we're almost done. We've got a ton of letters here, a ton of letters over there with all the envelopes in them. Or all the bracelets in them. Watch out, honey. Make sure you don't step on our bracelets. Well, and on it. now we have to go get tape uh, and paper instead of using that crappy uh, like regular paper I'm gonna go get blank paper for you guys since I feel bad because a lot of you guys expect them to be signed but obviously we don't re we can't really get a marker that's more than a permanent marker at least that I know of uh, they won't wipe off so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go get paper so we can sign that uh, and then I'm going to go get more tape because we ran out of that I'm, I'm pretty sure when I'm doing stuff later tonight I'm going to think before I do it and be like, oh wait, I got to grab some tape first. But I'm not going to need to grab tape before I do it. Just like when you do video games. When you play for too long, oh, speaking you, of video games, you think I'm of what you need to do. Video, I'm craving World of Warcraft and Fable right now. Like, terribly. Like, really bad. Our camera is cracked again. Is it? Oh wait, are we using the old vlog camera? or No, wait. Oh no. Our yeah, screen's cracked really long. bad. Holy crap. I dropped it a few minutes ago. I didn't realize the screen is cracked. I already cracked the screen once. Breaking them. We Sorry, had guys. For that long. I know. This heating pad needs. Well, I mean, to the, get the, the camera's still fine, but it's just got a cracked screen on it. I'm actually probably going to be uh, buying the new Canon PowerShot L300 or 320 HS uh, later today off Amazon using my Am Mac. Watch out! Using my Amazon credit so I can do a review yeah, on it because it's the model. it's the newer model uh, of this camera right here, so you guys will have a better quality image if that's even more possible. More possible. All right, I'm running the store. Get some food, paper, and bracelets, tape stuffs. This is funny. Stiletto tape. Ten bucks too. That's all it is. Roll of tape. In a shoe. We're signing all these little pieces of paper for you guys now. Oh my gosh. Grizzly Gray is doing her pretty signature. Oh my I'm doing my famous signature of. Just basic lines I don't know how and to write smiley braces, face under so it. I'm gonna just tie off it. <laughs> Gray's signing her signature though, but my signature, I must say, looks better than anybody's I've ever seen. It's it's real nice, and then I always draw uh, draw a smiley face 
right under and I'm doing some of them differently some of them have like really thick uh, text or lettering it's not text this is not a computer uh, but yeah like I'm, I'm doing them differently so you'll have or everybody has a different signature some of them I'm doing huge smiley faces on some of them I'm not so uh oh, we'll yeah feel bad. They no, have a huge smiley face. no I'm not nobody's any nobody's more special than anybody else I'm just doing fun little things for uh, different little pieces of paper uh, randomly. Jeez, when are you gonna get to it? Oh, what? What do you mean? Yeah. Oh. No, no, yeah, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Did I write on it and I didn't even know it? <laughs> I thought I, I planned it out so it'd be in the vlog. I just wrote "you eat poop." <laughs> <laughs> we are now done with the bracelets. Yes. Well, we're done, except we ran out of customs forms. So tomorrow, when we go to the post office, we'll have to uh, like fill out some more customs forms. But that's about it. So you guys will be getting your bracelets. If you want to buy a bracelet, they start out at five bucks. Well, they they are five bucks, and if you want to buy two of them, we have a deal thing where you can get them for eight fifty. It's kind of expensive, in my opinion, but it includes free shipping to anywhere in the world. So that's why it's a flat rate of five bucks, no matter where you live. Uh, so you guys can pick one up if you want to. The link is in the description down below. Grizzly Gray is whipping us up some delicious dinner, son. Um, what are you cooking? Pasta. Pasta? Ah. What kind of noodles is that? Oh, uh, shit. Why do I not know what they are? They're noodles. It's just noodles. I mean, they're healthy noodles, right? Yeah, it's whole wheat noodles. Whole wheat noodles. Oh, the nab. I've never done this before, but he and his family put like hamburger meat. Yes, that's pasta. how you make spaghetti. That's not how I make spaghetti. Well, it's it's spaghetti, except it's not spaghetti noodles. I know it's not how you make real spaghetti, because there goes the comments. That's not real spaghetti. Uh, and then we got some meat cooked up right here. And then we're putting some of this in it, which is oregano, traditional, a la naturelle. Uh, a little sauce in there. So it's an oh, easy dinner. This is my setup but, for uh, Mac's medicine. Yeah, because the only way Mac has to take his meds. Down is with peanut butter. So he's been doing good with it though. He does. He, he's like, oh god, peanut butter. How excited. And he just like eats it. Like he just swallows the peanut butter globs whole and then I stick it on his lips so he continues licking. And he. He's, he's really bad about taking pills. Yeah, but with this, it's magical. I'm she just, she just has to put a gigantic clump I'm of peanut butter. I'm just it's going to be too much peanut butter. No. Nah. Because he's having. Three like spoonfuls of peanut butter a day. Nah, that won't hurt him. It's See, protein. Three. It's protein. Ain't it making sure he's just gonna build more muscles? Just gonna build more muscles. Ain't that right, buddy? That's his antibiotics, by the way. So whip up that food, and I'm actually doing some more fun stuff. Taxes. Taxes. Woo! Yes. If you guys remember a while back ago, we did a vlog of all taxes. Don't worry, I'm not putting you through that again. I'm freaking knocking this out tonight. Me and Grizzly Gray are going to. I have to do my taxes. Yeah, Gray still has to do her taxes. Thankfully, hers are like super easy. Um, maybe a late night, I don't know. I'm 100% going to get this done because I've still got to take them to my accountant this week, print off like the papers and stuff like that, and get everything done with that before we go on our trip. Because I think these are my 2011 taxes. So, and I got an extension on them, and I think they have to be done by like October. So, I really need to get them to them. Yeah, so I don't have to pay like penalties or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna get it done now and then eat uh, and while I'm doing them and then in a little bit I'm going to the gym. Gray would go, but she doesn't She doesn't feel that good. I think I'm gonna try and run though. You're gonna run on the treadmill? <gasps> that treadmill we bought a long time ago that hey, we never I've used? I've used that a couple of times now. Hush your mouth. Oh god, a couple of times. Yeah, but we should use it more. a couple times more than I would not have if I didn't have yeah. a treadmill. Before I go to Woodward, I really want to like start going to the gym every single day, so that way, at least I build up some muscle and and I'm a little bit more in shape, so I can sort of help last through a uh, week at Woodward, even though I'm not gonna be able to. All right, time to do Texas. Good job, Grizzly Gray. Looks pretty delicious. Looks pretty delicious. If I may show myself. Let's see how. Huh? Matt, get out of my food. Mmm. It tastes like spaghetti. Cool. I guess pasta and spaghetti, anything pastas. You did yeah, a good you. job, Gray. Congratulations. That was your first Even spaghetti you've ever made at home. At home? No, I don't think 
I mean here. Uh, I still don't think so. Oh. But. Either way, it's delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know how you. difficult it is to cook with the wrong pans in all sorts of ways? That one pan. That I, I know we've complained about the pan before, but the pan is concave. I can't. The cook. opposite way. Yeah. It's like. Oh, it's bad. She gets in pots, pots and pans. Once we move, oh, I want to get new everything. Like, I want to get new beds, new couches, new dishes and stuff like that. I want to have everything nice than the crap we've been dealing with. But This is not our pans and pots, by the yeah, way. Yeah, this is the... These are the previous owners. That stuff that came out of the house. That's really gross. This is, like, super, like, hand-me-down. <laughs> yes. But it's, it's really cheap. We live in cheap, so that's good. Okay. What? Fill it right to the top. You put lemon stuff in it? Yeah, Greg got, uh, let him see the lemon stuff that you got. We were at Subway the other day, and Greg grabbed lemon juice to put in her waters. Oh my god, out of focus. Camera, what is wrong with you? You've been doing this like crazy today. Yeah, she's been putting lemon juice in her water. I don't really like it. Oh, I'm finally done with my taxes. That feels so good. <laughs> what was that? Choke burp. It was, it was like I said, like a, a freaking sheep for a second. <laughs> you always sound like a sheep. Wow. Okay, that was weird. Anyways, and by the way, our camera keeps going out of focus. I don't know what the freak is wrong with it. Uh, but thankfully, I just bought the new Canon Power Shot I was talking about earlier on Amazon. So that is coming soon, and we'll start vlogging with that. And now we'll have two backup cameras that doesn't have a cracked screen that hopefully doesn't go out of focus. All the time like this has been doing for the last day uh, I was gonna go to the gym it's like 1 o'clock it, no it's 2 o'clock in the morning uh, but I'm telling myself not to uh, but I want to at the same time uh, but it's late I'd really get to sleep instead of staying up till 4 o'clock in the morning and coming back and editing the vlog and stuff like that so I'm gonna go to bed after I shower Thank you guys for watching. I know today's vlog wasn't the best, but hopefully you guys will understand. Lots more awesome stuff coming, uh, and I'm glad that is out of the way. Our taxes are done, son. Well, actually, Gray's in the middle of doing... Well, she's already done 2011. Thank she you also got hers delayed. <laughs> and now she's working on 2012, so she, she's going to be ahead of me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Or you'll see me tomorrow, and I'll see your comments. If you look at them. If I look at them, which I do. Every day. Don't lie to them. I do. I really do. I read the comments every day. Even if I don't respond to everybody, I promise. I read through all the comments, whether it's on my iPhone or on my computer. I, I read through every one of them. Even the haters. <laughs> Alright. Peace.